what we are going to build in this video so this is the app we are going to build this is an pet adoption store app so this is the main screen and i was already <coughs> logged in in this so let me reopen it so because i have already opened this before so the main onboarding screen that was not shown so it directly moved to this home screen where we can see these newly added pads with the their image name and then price <clears throat> we can tap on it it will open up the detail page all this data is coming from the api we can adopt this pet from here we can add this pet to favorites right now we can't because we are not logged in so you see we have this toast message that you need to be logged in and same will go with this adopt now we are not logged in so it asks us to if we want to go to the login page or no so for now let's say no these are popular pets list of popular pets and this is some random list of pets then we have this all pets screen where the all of the pets which we have in our system those are going to be displayed over and we have pull to refresh functionality here <clears throat> if something has changed we can simply pull and it will refresh from here also we can simply tap on it and it is going to open the detail page we can see all these details here same thing uh, image name price description breed of this pet gender and age adopt now button and now let's go back again after that we have this favorite section but because we are not logged in we are not going to see anything after that we have this profile section so we are currently not logged in so these functionalities are not going to work <coughs> right so this app works without login and with login in both the cases so let's say go to profile we can log in from here so if we tap on login now we are on login screen so from here we can simply switch to register screen as well so register and login both of these functionalities are on the same screen we can simply switch so for register we need a name email and password for login we just need email and password and if you want if you do not want to log in we can simply skip from here and we can uh, log in uh, uh, later maybe so right now let me try to log in so i'll add my login i don't remember if this is correct i think this is correct login and yes hi abe we can see the name here and now if we go to profile we can see our name and this initials of my name and now if you go to change password we can change the password first let me show you let's open any of the pet let me open this one lola and this is already adopted so we see this now we cannot adopt it because this is not something that we have multiple uh, units of this particular item this is not that item right these are pets so there is only one pet with all this description so if this pet got adopted then we cannot adopt it again and now if we tap on this favorites now it is added to favorites we can go back and if we go to favorites section then we are going to see all the pets we have added to favorites right so this bella this is also in our favorites list so let's go to check this if we open this let me go here all pets and here if we have bella let me try here it is if i tap on it we should see this selected right because we are now logged in and this pet is already added to our favorites now if we remove it from here and now if we go to our favorites screen now we should not see bella here and this is fine so we can remove pets from here from our favorites list cool now let's go to profile on profile i showed you that we can change our password and then we have my adoptions so all the pets i have this user has adopted we can see these here so all these pets the status for these we will see the status for these pets will be adopted because these are adopted cool so this is the app we are going to build right now i was already logged into this now let's let me show this app 
on my local device and I have visor here how it looks when this first got installed and then I'll show you what is the uh, purpose or use case of signal R in this particular app okay Okay, checking status and app is coming now and this is the main screen if we are opening this app for the first time then we are going to see this screen this is onboarding screen so how does this screen look I like this screen most in this app so do let me know in the comment if you think the same cool now we can go to explore it will navigate us to login register screen but we have skip for now button so we can simply skip it and we'll directly land into the app cool so the same app we can see everything here now let's see what is the point of so these images are getting loaded because all these images are also coming from api now the thing is what is the point of that uh, signal r let's see because we only have one pet for example this raja let's see if it is adopted or no no this pet is not adopted right and if we are looking at this pet while we were planning to uh, adopt this we were reading all these details and we were trying to make up our mind to adopt this app in the same time if someone else has adopted this pet right so we somehow need to tell user that you are not the only one who is looking at this pet right now there is some other user also who is looking at this pet now so if the other user adopted this pet before you then you are going to lose it so this is the main use case of this signal R functionality so let me find this pet and then i'll open it so let me search for it here now just keep on eye here so i'm opening this pad on this left screen and come on my internet is very slow you see someone else is also viewing this pad so we got this notification that someone else is also viewing this pad so if that's the case we should maybe uh, do or maybe adopt this pad faster right so right now i'm not logged in on this left screen so we are going to have this uh, not logged in pop-up and on right we are already logged in so we can adopt it so now i'm going to adopt it from my emulator from this right screen so keep on eye on this left screen we will get a real-time notification that this pad is adopted now you won't be able to adopt it and this adopt now button it will going to be disabled so let me try this and uh, adopting it so this adopted left you see someone adopted this pet you won't be able to adopt this pet and now this adopted button is not here right so this is the main use case of signal r in our app this app so all these things we are going to build in this app we will build complete ui entire ui using dotted mavi xaml we will use view models models and then we have api in that api we are going to have entity framework core with sql server we have this hub signal r hub so all these things we are going to build in this video okay so let's start